the undefeated champion. The outrageous challenger. Julio Cesar Chavez has set a standard of excellence unmatched in boxing. Hector Macho Camacho's fists can be as dazzling as his wardrobe. He's considered pound for pound the best fighter in the world. He's fresh enough to believe he can do what no one else has done, defeat Chavez. We will fight. The bar line is, you know, I got from the 11 to the 11, which is four points. Yo creo realmente. Yo creo, Cheraz, Cheraz. You, you, you better be quiet, please. Chavez's lofty status has made him a marked man, pursued by boxing's elite. It was inevitable that Camacho would come to challenge Chavez and attempt to make history. On August 1st, Showtime will feature Chavez and Camacho in a boxing triple header. Chavez will defend his title while Camacho tunes up in a 10-rounder. And Julian Jackson will defend his WBC middleweight crown. If Julio and Macho emerge victorious from their August bouts, the two fighters will have their long-awaited showdown September 12th as the main event on a pay-per-view telecast. And here he is, ever the fashion plate, Hector Macho Camacho. Hector and Julio Cesar Chavez know a thing or two about multiple world titles, both three-time world champions. They're one-two in terms of best active records. Would a fight with Julio Cesar Chavez, Hector, be the highlight of your career? Yeah, it sure will. It's um, two great fighters at the top of the game. I feel that I have everything it takes to beat them. Just need that condition behind my skills. Well, Hector Camacho has certainly had some heated rivalries with Boom Boom Mancini and Greg Haugen, but in September, the much-anticipated showdown with the legendary Mexican uh, Chavez. What is different in your eyes about this rivalry? Well, this rivalry is that I have everything to gain. Most other fights, I have nothing to lose. I mean, everything to lose and nothing to gain. Um, we ran out there with the two best in the world. You know, I'm the flashy, dashy, good-looking macho man sensation. And he's the great sensation in my Mexican. Undefeated, I'm undefeated. It's a fight that everybody wants. That's so they bore me everywhere I go with the Chavez fight. So I said I got to go out there and make this fight historic, make myself a mark in history. Well, Hector participated in an exhibition. Hey, Ma, how you doing? Uh, hey, us, Keisha. Tell us how you feel. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> tell us how you feel. Give us an idea of your condition right I now. I feel great. My condition is coming along pretty good. I was off for a year, but I was losing a lack of motivation in my training and, and, and the whole sport of boxing. But now that I managed to get this fight signed up, it's motivating me. And with Don, every, every fight he have, I make a lot of appearances. I'm working around the public. It's getting me up. I feel good. I, I'm back to being myself mentally. Why did you lose interest? Well, you know, when you got the, the Mancini and the Bramble and the Rosario losing, you know, the super purses, you know, I had nothing out there that really motivated me. All the guys are upcomers and, you know, I have everything to lose, nothing to gain. Well, you've got a tune-up August 1st on Showtime. Is your training now on schedule? Yeah, everything's on schedule. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm moving around. Defense is there. I'm looking good. So I got here in the eye, big deal. So, you know, okay. But I'm still good looking, right? <laughs> now, if anybody knows how difficult it is to remain undefeated, it's Hector Camacho. Chavez has never lost. You have no defeats in the eyes of the WBO. The loss to Haugen in your first meeting ruled a no contest because uh, Haugen tested positive for marijuana after the fight. But Chavez, a mind-blowing 80-0. How intimidating is that to you? Well, not at all, you know, because most of the fights, you know, in Mexico, they fight, they fight by twice a week out there, you know. And if I come to see the fights that he fought, half of the guys I beat, and if I could call two fights, three fights that I haven't fought was Mayweather, Taylor, but I'm not too impressed with his record, but I am impressed with the way he's been performing. You know, he's been performing regular, he's out there. There's nothing I could take away from him. This is a fight where when I beat, pound for pound in boxing history I go down as the greatest fighters ever well uh, how about reports that Chavez recently wined and dined you even lent you one of his sports cars you, you guys aren't becoming pals are you yeah we are many we are pals we are good friends he's a great man I'm a great man 
and slap after boxing. Now, once that bell rings, you know, we're going to go at it. It's like I could pensar in my brother. The bell rings, we strictly all boxes. All right, Hector, thanks very much for joining us here on hey, Showtime. Hey, Tita, hey, how you doing? We'll see, we'll see this my man brother, in August. Honey. Has to learn to break out of his hey, shell. And my son, hey! Okay.